All right, guys, so uh, this is going to be the paint. Uh, this is going to be the gun. There's my old gun. I got it just in case. That's an old Campbell Hossfeld. Um, I've had that for years. It works okay, but um, I see guys talking about these uh, cheapy Harbor Freight ones. This is the, the cheapest one, that $15 one, whatever. Um, so I'm going to try that, and I ran some, uh, ran some acetone through it. Just to kind of clean everything up because you know it's got like you know oil from the manufacturing process in it so i was wiping out the tips and stuff like that and then i just dumped some acetone in there sloshed it around and then sprayed it and you know ran it through just like if it was paint and uh so got it good and cleaned out and just in blowing that acetone through there i like that spray pattern a whole lot better than i like that one there so anyhow we're going to give that one a shot i don't have a stand or anything they sell a stand this is a this is like a 15 dollar gun the stand is like 15 bucks so i ain't paying for no 15 dollar stand for a piece of junk gun so i just clamp it up in my vice you know i'm not i'm not clamping the trigger in there just the body and not real hard you know but that'll hold it up enough for me to fill it up this is the paint this is john deere yellow rust oleum they sell this in uh quartz uh i think home depot's got uh quartz about the cheapest you can get them this is uh the gallon uh i had a hard time finding this this uh home depot is about the only place to get quartz everybody seems like they sell the aerosol cans for five six bucks a can lowe's is the cheapest place on the aerosol cans they're less than five bucks a can um, but this uh gallon came from tractor supply so uh i think by the time you figure what four quarts cost at Home Depot that I couldn't find, uh, I paid like 40 bucks for this gallon. It was only like, I was paying like two more bucks for a gallon versus getting the quarts uh, from Home Depot. But, you know, if you can find them quarts at Home Depot, that's the best way to go. Uh, I couldn't, so Tractor Supply's got gallons. That's what I'm using. Uh, it gives no recommendation for thinning on the back of it. I know Rust-Oleum cans used to tell you how much you could thin. So it was a pain in the ass to find what Rust-Oleum recommends online. I know I've talked to Rust-Oleum customer service about thinning before. Use acetone to thin Rust-Oleum paints. You can use mineral spirits, but they recommend acetone. So that's what I'm going to be using. Through the research that I did just the last few days, um, the only recommendation I could find on Rust-Oleum's website was using 15% acetone uh, when you mix your paint up to thin it to spray it. I know I have talked to Rust Oleum customer support in the past and the lady told me the maximum was 20%. So I couldn't find that anywhere online, but I know, I know the lady told me that and I know I used to read that somewhere. Anyhow, that's neither here nor there. So I'm going to, I made up just a little ratio cup here. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna mix four parts of pick whatever you want four parts to one part and that'll that should give me 20 percent so uh two cups to a half cup so two cups of paint to a half a cup of uh acetone and that should fit in that i don't know exactly how big the hopper is on this but um so anyhow <coughs> excuse me um that's how i'm gonna do it i'm gonna mix two cups of the paint to a half a cup of acetone and uh, I'm gonna spray it with that gun and I'm gonna mix this paint up real good with that uh, paint mixer there if you if you get the chance like if you buy the stuff at Home Depot or somewhere where they shake it for you tell them to put it in the machine and shake it up real good for you otherwise this shit's probably been sitting on a shelf for a long time I mean it was dusty when I got it you know when I bought it so uh, I'm gonna guess that it's way settled out so I'm gonna use that stir on my drill and really spend some time getting that good and mixed up. So if you got the opportunity, have them shake it up for you. You can bring it home, just stir it with a stick, should be fine. All right, guys, well, that's about all the talking I'm gonna do for a little bit. Um, I got my cardboard laid out. I'm gonna spray this, this side here, then I'm gonna move all my cardboard over to the other side. Just try to keep it off the concrete as much as I can. I'm not super worried about it. The tractor I am concerned about, so I've masked that off. I mean, I climbed up under it and masked off underneath of it even. So we should be in good shape. I'm going to spray the axles. And you can see this plate here, I've got it taped off. So uh, the, the, this face here on the inside, uh, I'm going to spray that yellow. This face of the, that plate 
this side is going to stay green. So that's what I'm going to do next time you see this thing. Uh, hopefully I'm done painting. Well, they're yellow. Um, the pitting in the castings is, you know, it's there. You notice it, but, um, you know, that's not something I'm real worried about. Other than that, they turned out real nice. Um, the uh, insides are good and clean. You know, uh, I think there, that'd be a good surface now for the tire to sit against. I'm not worried about, you know, rust eating against the tire or the tube or anything. So the insides of the rims look real good. Um, this one over here, this one over here may be a different manufacturer or a newer rim. Because I found, I found that when I was wire wheeling. It says Goodyear. Uh, 9 by 38 made in USA I-46 whatever all that means uh, the 9 by 38 that's the rim size but I did not see any of those dimensions over there and that rim is a little more pitted than this one so uh, but anyhow I mean they both cleaned up real good I'm real happy with it um, the uh, gun did really well this Harbor Freight little gun here it did way better than that old Campbell Hospital gun so uh, for 15 bucks, guys, if you're just, you know, painting tractors and stuff like that, you know, I ain't painting no Ferraris or nothing, that's the gun. And uh, don't worry about that stand. It worked real good clamping it in my vise. So I did have to mix up a couple different uh, batches. I've kind of thrown some of that stuff away now. Uh, but to do these rear rims, it took uh, four cups. Well, I mixed up four cups of paint and one total cup of acetone. And... Uh, I've got, oh heck, there's a, there's a good amount left over in there. There's probably uh, a cup or two uh, left over in there. So anyhow, I needed just a little bit more than one batch. So, you know, if you were to get, um, well, four cups, I think that's a quart. So, I mean, one quart would do that. So anyhow, I give you an idea. Uh, that, that paint gun also puts a lot of real fine spray in the air. I'm not used to that. I'm used to that Campbell Hossfeld gun. It blows it out almost chunks of paint is kind of what you think of. Uh, but because of that real fine spray, I noticed like, man, it's, it's dangerous for everything else in here. So I parked it. You can see I put the car and the truck outside, uh, moved them engines over there. I didn't want them to get over spray on them and my new tires laying out there on top of the old ones. So, uh, just keep that in mind with that that Harbor Freight gun. It, it really makes a, a fine mist of paint. Did a good job. So anyhow, uh, next thing I'm going to do is going to be mounting them uh, mounting them tubes and tires up. Uh, I'm going to let this paint cure for. Yeah, I'll let it cure for a day or two. Anyhow, it 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 won't be a fuel a full cure for like three weeks or something ridiculous like that. But when I mount them tires up. I know I'm gonna nick them rims up anyhow, so I'm not gonna wait and do it in three weeks to nick them up. I might as well just nick them up now, and I'll touch it up with a spray can or something. So that's my plan anyhow. I don't know if I'll put that on the end of this video or not. So um, if you're seeing uh, this is the end of the video, uh, if you like the video, click that thumbs up button. If you wanna see more like it, click the subscribe button, and you'll get to see you know everything else I'm doing on this tractor. Uh, Hope you guys uh, got a little bit of uh, information out of this video. Not terribly entertaining, but uh, anyhow, I hope it helps, and I'll uh, catch you on the next one, guys.